Hello and welcome folks, it's me Ian, again here with James and we are here for another Hero Showdown. It is Dorinthia taking on Bravo. Thanks Ian. We have our lead developer Chris Gearing piloting Bravo, the staunch man with a million defences versus Jason Chung, a uh, flesh and blood developer playing Dorinthia who will be looking to outmaneuver and outthink Bravo in the reaction window and going wide off the back of her driving blades. Absolutely. I honestly hear, I think Dorinthia, it's stick and move, getting those uh, getting those shots in, whereas, uh, uh, of course, Bravo has got that big hammer and he likes to swing for the fences. Very much so. We're going to see um, Bravo really trying to slow down the pace of this game. He'll be defending heavily, swinging with Anathos, trying to set those defense reactions into the arsenal, which is the perfect place. Uh, you want them versus Dorinthia as it keeps the reprise effect uh, of her reactions turned off. That's right. Of course, Dorinthia will be trying to hit with that Dawn Blade, try to get some counters on it early just to put extra pressure um, on Bravo when he's defending. So Chris starting off here with the hammer. So Chris playing very proactively here. He has foregone putting the uh, Springwood Somersault into the arsenal to instead set up an emerging power debilitate turn two play. That's right. He is he is really looking for that big, big swing early. Of course, that first turn as well. Um, Jason gets to reset his hand, so defending is is an easy choice for him. Nature's path now. Followed up by Dawnblade. One thing we've got to always keep in mind when playing Dorinthia is the goal of the game isn't to grow a big Dawnblade. It's simply to kill the opponent. So just playing efficient damage output, light nature's path pilgrimage. Um, you know, it, it is an effective strategy. We've seen, uh, we've seen nature's path hit here and restock the arsenal with a sharpened steel. Now, and and this is a, this is great great for um, Jason as well. Worth noting there that Jason pitched two red cards for that play. Uh, with Dorinthia, sometimes you need to play for the long game, particularly in this matchup. And because her weapon Dawnblade only costs one to attack with, you can have turns where you defend heavily, pitch a red card, attack with Dawnblade. Um, and play for a big stack of reds on the bottom of your deck coming back through for your final big push. So my apologies, it wasn't debilitate that Chris had Arsenal, it was a buckling blow. But that is um, a lot of damage. We have 11 plus pummel coming over the top. Wow. Yeah. Oh, J that's tricky. <laughs> Jason... <laughs> That's one way to negate the uh, the discard of Pummel, is just play out all the cards in your hand. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> just a full hand of somersaults there. But the buckling blow, it's still uh, connected with that crush effect, and Iron Rock Gauntlet not looking so flash now. No, effective, effectively being made useless in, the, in this matchup. It's lost its shine. <laughs> <laughs> it's more rock than iron now. <laughs> Again, of course, Jason, all he could do there was re redraw up, and uh, and this allows Chris to really bring through the bring through the pressure. And Jason getting crushed, losing the arsenal to disable. That's right. This is uh, this is exactly this is exactly the plan uh, Chris clearly had was just swinging big early, trying to trying to put this game away quick. Yeah, sometimes the Bravo games they're long and grindy, full of defending and defense reactions, and sometimes you just get on the front foot with some big crush plays and just completely control the tempo of the game. And sometimes you get games where you switch between those two modes. Of course, the game is never over till it's over and the pace can change in an instant. Oh, again, another 
Another big swing. <laughs> Bravo really has decided that it is showtime here. Well, we see some equipment come in here. And then we've got sh the shunt. The shunt, that's... Uh... That is that is a great uh, great asset for uh, any Dorinthia player. Wounding blow now doesn't cost anything. Swings back for four. A swing and set an arsenal from Jason here. Just try to regather and get and it gets it gets one card out of Chris's hand as well. Again, just oh, just crush, <laughs> crush, crush. <laughs> just absolutely, uh, Chris is on a rampage here. Jason does still have two pieces of equipment, so he can trade one card and one piece of equipment to turn off the crush effect here. Mm. But it's a lot of damage, and it's requiring attention. You know, a lot of the times in uh, Flesh and Blood, you can just take the hit to keep a big hand to swing back. But cards like Debilitate, they take away those options. You take the hit, you get crushed. It neutralizes your your swing back. Now, this is a, this is more of a setup here, playing that uh, the Flock of the Featherwalkers. It's, oh, great play. So he's uh, generated that Quicken token as well as using the Razor Reflexes here. So this is interesting. I don't think that Jason will swing off the back of this. No, he is. Just wanting to get Chris's hand under control. Yeah, it has been a brutal last few turns and just wanted to get... Needed to get that tempo back. Yeah, okay. just wanted to get the cards out of Chris's hand. So be happy to trade a Quicken token for another card from Chris's hand. And then... Chris, still enough cards in hand to swing with the hammer, though. All right, there we are. And lovely, uh, taking one point back with that steel blade shunt. It always feels so good. So good. So good. <laughs> Eat that. <laughs> and scour. Is it going to fix Jason's hand, or he's happy with it? Nope, just happy with the one point of damage. And of course, Chris knew that Scowl was there because of the Feather Walkers from last turn. Jason had to show him that card. So Chris's hand not... He doesn't have the double blue. Oh, but he does have the three drop in his arsenal. So again, again the onslaught just keeps on that's coming. That's right. It's like, like a shark that smells blood in the water. Just isn't it just <laughs> constantly <laughs> moving? And another crush card goes into the arsenal. Some days you just you feel like you shouldn't have even stepped onto the battlefield. <laughs> Jason, though, still still trying hard with that driving blade. Chris trying to make the decision now of does does he block? Does he hold on to cards for the second attack? Or does he hold on to those cards just to, for the big swing back the next turn? So one of the considerations when you're playing against the driving blade push is to let the first swing hit and then defend against the second swing from Dawn Blade because it has lost the power buff uh, that driving blade applies. Binding blade there. Chris, Chris, happy to use his whole hand up there to defend with. Leaves 
leading out with a dawn blade now from Jason. Course, Chris. Chris is still in, in the dominant position here at the moment. Cracks those uh, refractors um, to get the go again. Yeah, this is what Jason needed. Now he has the four power dawn blade thanks to the biting blade reprise effect. So this is either. Krista, he has a plentiful supply of equipment though to shut down this four point swing. But he decides not to, he just wants to keep the pressure on. He does have the crush card in Arsenal. And this is another big turn. Gauntlet's out. And this is going to be game unless his defense reaction is coming here. He does, okay. Lives to fight another day. <laughs> and that is a clutch. Clutch play there by Jason to keep himself in it. Jason, not, not a lot in hand. Still, still, he's got that four, which uh, means at least at least a piece of equipment and a card minimum from Chris to defend if he wants to defend that. That's, and that's what we see there. So that is going to put Chris down to one life. That's shunt territory. Yeah, and that that is that is where the warrior really uh, wants the uh, wants you to be in, especially against the Bravo player. That uh, the the hammer is such a such a big part of the the attack strategy. And uh, looking for the hood before before defense now. So Jason had the one out here, which is to draw into the steel blade shunt. Facing down seven, so it's shunt or bust. Because of course this attack does have dominate. And it's bust. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, and that is a. That is a brutal, a brutal matchup. That Bravo just kept swinging, kept swinging. It was a steamrolling performance by Bravo. Um. But I mean, as, as as you can see, that is that is uh, the more aggressive play style there from Bravo than the defense, showing that he can uh, can do it both. Uh, both on attack and defense. Yeah, very much. He just got on the front foot right from uh, from the start in that game. We saw the turn one emerging power into crush, into crush, into crush, into crush, and it was just all bravo, all the way. That's right. And when those when those crush cards get get in effect, it is very hard to fight your way back. Anyway, folks, that has been another hero showdown. I was Ian. James here uh, with me as well. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks.